Okay, this is Foley's Revenge. My wife thinks Brad Pitt is so good looking. I'm gonna strike back right now. Oh yeah, oh, this is really working. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, hi. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I'm Mr. Foley, I teach Photoshop here at Diamond Bar High School. This is my 10th year teaching Photoshop and Photography. And it's my uh, 20th year in the district. And my last year of teaching, which is my 38th year. And so far I've enjoyed working with the students and that's true. And uh, I'm lagging behind on the technology, however, not that technology, not the camera technology, everything else. And I think a lot of people are struggling right now. So this is interesting, to say the least. And I'm not complaining. I'm happy to be here and happy to have a job. So we're gonna have a good year and we may be going back soon. We may be doing a hybrid system, who knows? The Photoshop class is different than the regular photography class. And the students in there will be learning more advanced Photoshop skills, but they'll also be doing photography because one of the most enjoyable things, in my opinion, anyway, about Photoshop is being able to edit your own photos and do projects with those in addition to assignments where you work from scratch. And we're going to be doing both of those in this class and more Photoshopping than we've ever done before which is a very positive thing, and I'm very excited about that. I honestly enjoy having your students in class already. I see a lot of intelligent kids out there, kids with a good sense of humor, and I've already seen some talent. And I'm gonna share some of the photos that have been taken in this class so far this year, just so you can get an idea of what they're doing. I gave the students the two assignments wearing masks because it's something that they can really relate to and it'll be part of history. And someday, if they keep these, they can show them to their children and talk about what happened back in the year 2020 that was unique in all of history. To be successful in the Photoshop class, it really helps if the students can get high quality images to edit. The cell phone cameras do a pretty good job, but to get real serious about it, it would be nice if the students could use larger cameras with larger sensors. I have four compact cameras at school and four DSLRs that I can check out to the students. And during the course of the school year, when we are at school, they have to use those cameras most of the time anyway. I'll only let them use the cell phone cameras on certain assignments. Other resources we are using at school or at home is Google Classroom, as you know, a wonderful program. And then Google Meets, which I'm still learning, but I'm getting a lot better at it now. And that's how I'm able to see the kids online. And one of our teachers at school, Mr. Murphy, figured out how that we could see all the kids at one time on the screen. And before we couldn't do that. So that's working quite well. 